Welcome back to another video today with PB Fitness Academy. We're going to be talking about one of the most common questions and frequently asked questions that we get, um, especially when we send out plans. That is tempo. Now, this is literally talking about the phases of contraction during an exercise. So we will usually split this up into three little numbers. We may do four numbers on one particular point, but that is a video for another time, but three numbers, okay? So the first one, that you will see is always going to be the larger number more often than not some of these numbers will change all the way around but you will understand now which number means what they stand for the amount of seconds that you actually stay in that phase of contraction so an easy easy way to describe this is going to be using a bicep because you can pretty much see it because i'm massive i'm not it's a joke um, but basically if you can see that okay so with the muscle is lengthened here with every single muscle, we've already probably talked about this on a video, where you've got the origin and insertion of a muscle. So the bicep, all a muscle does is bring two points closer together, okay? That's literally every single muscle. All it does, it's got an origin, it's got an insertion, it brings two points closer together as it contracts, okay? Now, tempo is a way of describing how many seconds we stay in each phase of contraction. So we've got three phases. We've got the eccentric, which is when the two points actually lengthen and get further apart, okay? So that's the eccentric contraction, okay? Again, that's the strongest phase of contraction as well. So when you're actually, you know, lowering down that, that dumbbell, if you're doing a curl, that, 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 that point where it's going down and it's lengthening the bicep is the strongest phase, so we spend the most time there to create the same sort of muscle damage. So let's say we do a four seconds on the way down, okay? So four, three, two, one. It's quite quick seconds, but anyway. So four seconds on the way down. Then we've got the isometric phase of contraction. So that's gonna be a split second, usually, as you'll see, where it literally says one, which means that at that point, the muscle is neither lengthening nor shortening. That's called the isometric phase of contraction. Okay, that will always be the middle number. So if we've got three numbers, it'll be the middle number. Yeah, so we've got four seconds on the way down. We may have one or 0 0.5 at that point. Okay, where you pause, yeah, and then you drive back up. The reason for that little pause and that split second in the isometric phase contraction is so that we actually eradicate any elastic energy built up from the downward phase of contraction or the lengthening of the muscle, okay? Because you will have recoil, you will have a bit of spring, which is just gonna take away the load. Um, it's gonna make that next phase of contraction a little bit easier, which we, we don't wanna do. We wanna make these lifts as hard as possible when the goal is to target the muscle, not the joint. If you're doing something completely different like strength training with powerlifting, you may want to use the recoil to your advantage to move a weight from A to B. Our goal is not to do that. Our goal is to actually make sure that we're targeting the muscle, putting a lot of stress on that muscle. So then we've got the final phase of contraction, which is the concentric. This is when two points come closer together. So you've got eccentric, two points getting away, further away. Isometric, two points staying close together, or staying exactly the same, not moving. So it could be up here when you're actually contracting, two points staying at the same point. Or isometric again, down here when you're lengthened, staying at the same point. Then you've got the concentric, which is two points coming closer together. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, all you need to do is just pay attention to the numbers at different points. It will be explained on your program for you. If not, always reach out to your coach. We'll explain it in even more detail again. This is just a quick video to touch on it quickly for you so you have a good understanding of tempo. Thank you very much. Any questions that you want to know the answer to, let us know, and we will speak to you soon.